What's up, guys? How about them Tigers, baby? <laughs> Y'all not excited? <laughs> hey, man, I just can't say enough about a football team. Can't say enough about the 19 seniors. And, you know, we always just we just kept on talking, keep on fighting. Keep on fighting, something good's going to happen. And uh, the, what, what, a way to, what a way to end that game. Those guys kept on fighting. They believed in each other. Our backs were against the wall. We were down. They kept on fighting. I just can't say enough about the seniors, about our team, and uh, just about about a big win over Texas A&M. They're a good team. They, those guys fought back when you was going to be a battle. Uh, very proud of our football team. Any questions? If you have a question, raise your hand. We'll get a mic to you. What's that? What did you tell your team after the game? And yeah. The second question is, do you feel like you've left this program in better shape than when you took over? Yeah, I'm not going to answer that. Uh, I mean, I, I, I know this. I told my how proud I am of them. They fought, and something good is always going to happen when you fight like that. So, Coach, what were you thinking watching the final drive? Your guys? I, I thought something good was going to happen. You know, I just felt that we had enough time. We had done so many two-minute drills. Uh, over the course of the year that our guys were prepared. They were, I just felt like something good was going to happen. We kept on making play after play after play, and we kept on fighting. Um, just, I know it's so quick after the game, but just, you know, how, do you, how are you going to remember this team and, you know, just the fight the finish? You know, fortitude, you know, backs against the wall, kept on fighting, stuck together. Think about all those guys that had injuries, man, guys like Sony Fonu and all stepping up. Uh, Michael Baskerville, Damone Clark, Neil Farrell, uh, Max Johnson. They, oh, just think about all the guys that fought, man. Cordell Thomas playing tonight. Young Garrett Dellinger playing at, at tackle. He struggled a little bit, but fighting. They, just, they stuck together. The coaching staff stuck together. So I'm just so happy about that. Did it, Ed over here. Y'all almost beat Alabama. You almost beat Arkansas. Yeah. There were so many close losses and just frustrations and disappointments yeah. this season. How much did it feel like something was almost released, like frustration released by that touchdown yeah, there at the yeah. end? Yeah, I, 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 our team beat it. And, uh, that, you know, we just kept on fighting. Just kept on practicing. The guys kept on being early in the meetings, kept on working. Nobody ever blinked. Uh, next guy stood up. There was no, no bitching, whining, or moaning about nothing. Our guys kept on fighting together. And some, some bound. Something good's bound to happen when you do that. Coach, defensively holding a to under 300 yards, 3 of 14 on third downs. Uh, just how well did you all execute the game plan and even in the second half when they started to get some yards? No, it's, uh, it's something we started uh, in uh, open day. You know, we went through the 3-4. Uh, we started blitzing. Uh, give Durante and the defensive coach a lot of credit. Uh, we got out of the meeting room. We went through a bunch of walkthroughs. Uh, we, you know, we made sure that we adjusted right. We took the pads off this week when our guys were fresh, ready to play. And just give the credit to the players, man. They learned it. They liked it. And uh, it's something I wish we would have started earlier. And, uh, but, you know, it's something for them to grow. Ed in the back here. Uh, all season we've been waiting for the offense, you know, to come through with their end. How, how much are you in, uh, happy for them, I guess, you know, that yeah. they were able to kind of contribute and really pull this I really, am, I really am happy because, you know, there's some dissension going on in the locker room and stuff like that. And, Guys were getting pissed, and I didn't blame them, you know, stuff like that. And I told them, hey, put it on me. But, again, they came up with a big play tonight at the end when our defense re really needed them to make the big play. And uh, so I, I think that you got a happy group in that locker room and uh, just happy for them. You've always said you're not going to make it about you, but just this game, it's like a movie. You know, the coach is going out the last second drive down the field. You went at the end and all that. I mean, how will you remember this? Yeah. It was for the 19 seniors, you know. I mean, that's what they were. You know, I didn't even think about this is for me or nothing like that. I've had my share, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, this is my last game uh, with, the, with the Tigers. Uh, me and the administration have mutually decided that I will not coach the bowl game because Brad Davis is going to be the interim coach. And then I told the guys, I wish them luck. Uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and coach when there's another guy coming in and be the head coach next week or the week after. I'm not going to do that. This is my team. And as soon as they get a new head coach, I was going to go. And uh, But uh, the administration, Stephanie's in here, Scott's in here. They've been great to me. Uh, we decided on this, and I, I mutually agree with everything. And I wish our guys the best. So I hope they go to a great bowl. I know that Brad Davis is going to do a good job. Whoever the new coach is, I wish them all the luck in the world. I'm always going to be an LSU Tiger fan. Hey, coach, over in the back. Uh, I remember after a memorable win two years ago, you said you're going to watch Sports Center and eat a ham sandwich. Um, <laughs> Could you give us an, uh, a glimpse in what your your final night here as a, a head coach of LSU is going to yeah, be like? I'm packing to go to Destin. <laughs> I'll be there tomorrow.
You bring in uh, the, the, the boys, or who, who goes to Dustin with Me you? Me and Brandy going. Boys got to stay home this time. Ed, uh, we're having some fun, but, you know, you and I have talked. You ready for this? Yeah. Yeah, I was ready. I was ready. I just felt that uh, this was, it came out at the right time. Uh, you know, we, we did what we were supposed to do at LSU. We won a championship. A two sub poor season. I was in total agreement when Scott came to me after uh, Kansas. Look, man, I knew it. And uh, maybe the next guy step in and do great. And I, I wish him all the best. Ed, Jerry Jenkins been through a lot, ups and downs with the team and personally. Yeah. Uh, how important yeah. for him to come through and what did it mean in it this moment? It was kind of funny. His coach texted me today. He said, Coach, thank you for all you did for Jerry before the game. Out, outside of Gene, not, not a lot of people had offered uh, Jerry a scholarship, but we saw something in him. And then, you know, obviously him losing his mama. And uh, we went through some times together with him. And uh, he stuck there. And, you know, Dre became one of our team captains. And for him to go out this way, I'm just so happy for him. What a great story. Could have happened to a better young man. And just the, the final play, I mean, was that the kind of the design to go to Dre in that spot? Like, what was the play call? Yeah, my facts. <laughs> I had the headsets on the side. <laughs> I was, I was uh, you know, Jake called it all. Yeah, that was the, that was the play design, I guess. I didn't even have my headsets on. I was just being a cheerleader by then. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah, I got one. Um, just if you would, I know you're not going to coach the team, but the importance that bowl practices provide yeah, for a team. Yeah, they have so many guys, so many young players on this team. And uh, now they can have 15 practices. I'm assuming that they're going to go to bowl and, and get better and, and just stay together as a team. And then to have fun, too. Then to get together and hopefully they go to a nice bowl and the guys up. Uh, to win the bowl game and get get a little momentum going. Hopefully that the new coach gets to come see the talent that he has and, and they get to know the new coach and stuff like that. So this this is a great this is a great time for our football team. You ever seen a better story than Demone? No. No, what a story. You know, and, 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 and to see the type of football that he's playing and uh, recruiting Demone, I I tell you his daddy cooks the best barbecue I ever ever tasted. It was one of my favorite, favorite home visits. Uh and uh, we had a great relationship with mom and dad, and they came to me about, about uh, I guess, a year and a half ago and said, hey, what's going on? And I told them, you got to get better at using your hands, got to get better at the point of attack, you got better at man coverage. He said, coach, I'm going to do it. And he did it. I'm so proud of him. He's a great young man. He wore 18 for two years. He's an outstanding young man. Doc, you got the last one. Uh, coach, when you came out, you bumped your chest and you pointed up yeah. to this guy. Was that for your dad? That was or? my dad, yeah. I always do it. I felt it, man. I want to say this to y'all. Man, they – Six years, man. You've been fair to me. I love y'all. Been good, man. Y'all, hey, I, I look forward to meeting with you guys. Every one of you guys have been fair to me, man. I'm always going to be around. And if you come to Destin, we got uh, we got a little suntan lotion for you boys. Go Tigers. Cool.